Hi, today we are going to discuss about pollen grains. The pollen grains are the important topic of this year's NEET as well as it is very important topic of class 12th boards CBSC. So we will be talking about pollen grains today. So first of all, the point that has to be discussed under the topic pollen grain is the structure of the pollen grain. You can see in the slide the structure of the pollen grain. You can see in the figure the structure of the pollen grains. The structure obviously becomes important for us in biology for answering three marks question, five mark question. So what is what are pollen grains first of all? The pollen grains are the first cell of the male gametophyte. They are also called as the microspore. They are also referred to as the young or immature male gametophyte. So come into the structure of the pollen grains. You can see in the slide, in the diagram, the structure of the pollen grain. The pollen grains are surrounded by two distinct layers. The exine, which is the outer layer, and the entine, which is the inner layer. You can see in the figure that the exine is forming different types of designs or sculptures. That is the characteristic of the different types of the pollen grains of different angiospermic species. The exine is becoming very important for us from the point of view of the NEAT examination, repeatedly asked questions. The exine is made up of a highly resistant biochemical called as the sporopollenin. Okay. The sporopollenin is made up of cutin and suberin. So, exine is the outer layer of the pollen grain wall which is made up of the sporopollenin and in turn the sporopollenin is made up of cutin and suberin. So sporopollenin is one of the most important resistant organic substance, highly resistant material. Why it is called as highly resistant material? Because it is not affected by high temperature, it is not affected by strong acid, alkali. There is no enzyme known to break it. That is why the sporopollenin is considered as very Highly resistant organic substance, highly resistant material. It is non-biodegradable. Clear? So the sporopollenin part is again repeatedly asked question of the NEAT examinations. So because of the presence of the sporopollenin, the fossils of the sporopollenin or the fossils of the pollen grain are always in the good conditions. So the next important point for our NEAT examination is the fossil of the pollen grains. Okay. So how the fossils of the pollen grains are maintained in very good condition by the presence of the sporopollenin which is present in the exine. So what is exine? Just again repeat in the figure. You can see exine is the outermost layer surrounding the pollen grains. Okay. So Exine is becoming very important for us for our NEAT examination. Repeatedly questions are coming from this topic. So because of the spor presence of sporopollenin, pollen grains of the past are preserved in very good conditions as microfossil. Mind the word microfossils. So you can see in the figure that the exine is having different types of designs. Designs are also called as the sculpturing so that is very specific for each type of pollen grains you can see in the figure that the exine is missing from certain places or they are very thin even if they are present they are very thin so this places from where the exines are absent or present in form of very thin layer are called as the germ pore so why the germ pore is very important for us for class 12th regular examination of CBSE for NEAT examination repeatedly asked question through the jump pore. The entine 
the inner layer surrounding the pollen grain will be coming out during the process of germination of the pollen grain as pollen tube. So that is why the germ pore is important. The shape of the germ pore is also carrying specificity. Now the germ pore may be oval, rounded and they can be then called as germ pore. So or when the germ pore is elongated, they are not called as the germ pore. Instead, they will be called as germinal furrows. Why we are discussing about this two biological term? These are the uh, words which are seen in the question paper of class 12th CBSC board regular examination. Now, next we are moving into the topic which is a very common topic of CSIR UGC net examination that is called as ect exign and end exign. So, what are this topic? The medical aspirants, if you are interested in these two words, you can follow this. Otherwise, this word, ect enzyme and end enzyme, these are the important topics of CSIR UGC net examination. So, this ect enzyme is the outer part of the enzyme and the end enzyme is the inner part of the enzyme. That means exine is again made up of two layers ect exine and end exine clear now this ect exine is also called as sex sign and egg end exine is also called as neck sign clear i repeat the ect exine is also called as sex sign and end exine is also called as neck sign clear so this ect exine is again formed of three layers. The foot layer is the innermost layer, baculate layer is the middle layer, tectum layer is the outermost layer of ect exine. Clear? So this baculate layer and tectum, these are responsible for, for the formation of different sculptures, designs of the exine. So this point is the important topic of CSIR UGC net examination. Now we are moving into the pollen product straight away. The pollen products under this topic we will be talking about pollen food supplements, pollen viability and pollen energy. Why? Because these topics are the repeatedly asked questions of the NEAT examination. So this topic we will be giving importance. So first is the food supplement. We will be moving with the food supplement. You are knowing the pollen grains. They are the rich source of the proteins, carbohydrates, unsaturated fats. So they are used nowadays as the food supplement in the form of pollen tablets. Clear? And they are also used as syrups mostly in the European countries. It is found that the pollen tablets and pollen syrups is increasing performance of the athletes as well as the race horses. Pollen tablets again important question of the NEAT, repeatedly asked question of the NEAT. So NEAT aspirants give importance to the pollen tablets. Next we will be talking about the pollen viability. Again important topic of the NEAT examination you can see the topic in the slide pollen viability that means the pollen grains can be can uh, remain functional for certain period of time pollen grain thus can be stored preserved in liquid nitrogen at temperature of minus 196 degrees celsius they can be used as the pollen banks similar to that of the seed bank. Again, this topic is repeatedly asked question of the need. So, give importance to the pollen viability as well as the preservation or storage of the pollen grain. Last topic of today's discussion is pollen allergy. So, you are knowing that the pollen grains of the certain angiospermic species 
are producing severe allergies and respiratory disorders okay so this allergies are called as the hay fever the pollen grains which are causing this hay fever or allergies are called as aero allergens the pollen grains of certain plant species like chenopodium like parthenium like amaranthus like sorghum they are referred to as the aero allergens again very important topic of the neat examination repeatedly asked question of the neat examination so students one more topic we need to discuss before finishing the today's lesson that is the exine as well as the entine togetherly they are called as the sporoderm i repeat the exine and entine the two layers surrounding the pollen grains they are togetherly called as the sporoderm so i hope the students are able to answer all the questions related to this topic coming in the neat examination as well as in class 12 boards if you have any doubts any questions regarding today's lesson you can write in the comment box feel free to ask your questions next sli slide we will be preparing about the germination of the pollen grain anther again very important topic of class 12th regular board cbsc as well as neat examination so best of luck student for your coming neat examination thank you